this is uh, most probably one of the quickest uh, overviews you're ever going to see. Uh, this is for a website that's just gone live um, incorporating the K2 component from the, the brilliant guys at Joomla Works. Uh, the main reason that this client um, wanted to use K2 was for the nested categories, okay, which uh, Joomla 1.5 at this moment in time does not support. Uh, but there's extra functionality that um, uh, K2 actually gives that uh, the customer uh, thought was wonderful. Um, things like uh, tagging content, uh, different types of content um, in different areas, in different categories. It didn't matter which category it was in, uh, but he could tag it um, to uh, you know certain keywords. Um, there's lots and lots of functionality that um, K2 provides. We're not using it all here. There are things like videos, um, you know, image galleries, etc., etc. Um, but the main thing was uh, the nested categories and also pulling in uh, some of the uh, dynamic bits and pieces uh, using the K2 modules. Um, just straight away going into the back end. Um, I mean, this this is really not for a Joomla beginner. Um, you need to know a little bit about Joomla. You know how to navigate your your way around uh, the administrator interface. Uh, but one thing you'll see straight away here when I logged in is that you don't get the normal buttons. Um, you get um, some extra buttons uh, for K2 where when you do the normal K2 installation you normally have to go to components K2 then you'll see all of the uh, the, the buttons uh, and, and bits and pieces associated with K2 uh, but one thing that uh, we installed uh, for the client here was the K2 quick links for the control panel in Joomla uh, because as soon as he goes in he wants to go straight into items or into categories or you know his tags or whatever um, I'll explain the uh, the extensions that we've used uh, with this installation uh, right at the end uh, but if we go straight into uh, the the actual um, k2 component okay we'll go in here to uh, the items list one thing you'll see across the top here is that we have all these different uh, uh, links okay there is lots and lots of things we can do uh, the one great thing about K2 is the uh, nested categories um, there, there's actually no such thing as sections and categories in K2 as such it's all just categories uh, but you can nest to infinite layers, which is what our you know our our client wanted to do here. Uh, one thing just to point out, uh, if I just go back to the dashboard, um, that you know th this is not just for brand new sites. Um, you know, if if a client is wanting um, you know nested categories and some of the other wonderful things that that K2 uh, provides, um, you can use this on an existing site. Um, you don't have to worry about going in and replicating all of your content into new items, new categories, etc., etc. Uh, you know the guys at uh, Joomla Works have created this this wonderful button at the top here, right hand corner, um, importing Joomla uh, Joomla articles. What this will actually do um, is it will import um, all of your sections and categories. Um, from the, the you know the standard 1.5 Joomla installation, um, the section will be a top category, and then the the categories below that section uh, will be sort of you know the the, the categories or the, you know the the child categories one layer down. Okay, uh, but when once you've imported, um, it will replicate um, in the categories. Um, the 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 section and the uh, category that you had in your your normal uh, normal Joomla setup. Um, it will also import um, all of your it um, articles from uh, the article manager, um, and it will associate the new category names um, into K2. Um, one thing to remember is that once you have imported all of your um, articles, sections and categories from, from an existing site, um, obviously the menus uh, will not work. Uh, uh, well they will work, 
but if you if you actually delete all of your articles uh, sections and categories in the in the normal Joomla setup okay they will actually still be linking in your menus to those uh, Joomla um, articles okay so you have to go back into uh, your menu and uh, what you'll actually do is rather than you know articles and using one of these um, you'll actually go to the new K2 um, and link up as items categories tags user page blogs etc okay just to show you a um, uh, an item in K2 if we actually go into one um, you'll see that um, its layout is a little bit different okay where you get these you know these different tabs at the top here these are things that you can actually associate uh, with this uh, new K2 item okay the WYSIWYG etc etc all the same no changes there okay but um, you can associate one image uh, with um, a content item uh, in K2 um, this can be used for example for things like uh, one of the modules where you can um, associate that image it will actually pull it from the item itself okay we also have uh, an image gallery uh, we have to actually install the simple image gallery from Joomla works uh, we haven't done in this case uh, but again you know you could have an image gallery at, uh, at the bottom of a item page on, on the actual website um, again we have uh, a video tab okay uh, one thing to remember here is that you you will need the all videos plugin from Joomla works uh, the all videos reloaded uh, which is sort of like the you know the, the copy of the all videos from Joomla uh, from Joomla works um, it actually doesn't work uh, with K2 you'll need the all videos not the all videos reloaded uh, then we have uh, extra fields. Extra fields is something that we can actually set up uh, groups, which I'll, I'll show you in a moment. Uh, groups of extra fields and extra fields within those groups. Um, so you, you might have something like, uh, for example, you might want to, for for a particular content item, have um, you know a version number or um, you know a date released or something like that for a piece of software that. That you have on a, on a page um, you can set up extra fields for the client so he can um, actually just fill in those fields um, and it will then just pull everything back in from the extra fields into that you know that that version place on, on the actual website um, another thing we can do here is we can add uh, attachments to uh, to a k2 content item um, you know PDFs um, uh, you know word documents or whatever over on the right hand side the parameters part um, has changed slightly okay uh, get you you know your normal detail stuff here um, your item uh, tags is a, is a new one where you know we actually set up tags um, that we can actually tag against this item um, so we can actually say right okay we want to um, associate this item with uh, solutions um, we want to associate it with uh, net IQ um, so whenever you see tags at the bottom of an item um, for net IQ it will bring back all of the items that have been tagged up with that tag meta information as per normal uh, one thing we have here is um, the view options for a category listing. This is a uh, where we list all of the items in a category. Um, I actually don't set anything here, and I actually don't set anything in the uh, the next one, which is the view options. Okay, what I actually do with this is I actually set all of these um, via the category. 